Now that we're just about happy with the way that the lighting's working in the level, what we're going to do now is add a little bit of fog in. So at the moment we've already got an atmospheric fog that came with the level when we started it and it's not really doing anything. If we delete it, nothing changes so we will delete it and we're going to replace it with a much better fog that's really going to add something to the level, add a bit more atmosphere. So in our modes panel we're going to go over to visual effects and you can see you've got a few different um, options here but the one we want is called exponential height fog and it's this is the kind of fog that simulates that kind of low-lying fog that kind of clings to the ground so let's drop this into our level and you can see straight away it's already added quite a lot it looks much better so we're going to change some of the settings of that just to get this looking the way we want it so the first thing I want to do because it looks it's got a blue tint to it which is nice but I think I prefer it to look a bit whiter like that just to kind of fit in with what we're going for the fog density I like to be a little bit higher as well so I'm gonna go for 0 0.1 which will thicken it up but we're gonna scale it back by changing the start distance so that's this thing here so we're now going to just turn this number up so that the fog doesn't immediately kick in and you see you can kind of take it back as far as you want but I want it to come in just at about that sort of distance there in fact the, the density might be a little higher so let's go 0 0.08 maybe 0 0.06 yeah I like that so we've got a density of 0 0.06 it doesn't come in straight away uh, and that now looks a lot better it really adds to that kind of early morning effect one thing you can also change is the fog height fall off which is kind of how high above the ground the fog can reach so if you bring that down it will really sort of in fact move the number up it kind of brings it down and make it look a lot more like it's low lying so I'm going to change that to about 0 0.8 I think yeah so I like that and that pretty much does it so that's it for this step it was a short one but it adds a lot so if we now play this and have a little look at it that the whole atmosphere that we're going for is a lot more believable I think uh, and it's just nicer it's nice to look at so that's fog beautiful in the next step, we're going to jump on post-processing volumes and we're going to do a few different things with post-processing that's really going to elevate the, the visuals, the aesthetics of our level. So stick with it and I'll see you in that step. Thanks for watching. If you really want to take your learning further than I can cover in this series, then I highly recommend checking out Pluralsight. They have loads of really detailed video courses covering game art and game development using Unreal Engine 4. When I learned how to use Unreal a couple of years ago, this is where I went and I log in regularly to take a new course and improve my skills. I recommend checking out the Introduction to Unreal Engine 4 course by Joshua Kinney. This is really good and offers a good overview of what you can do in Unreal. You can get a free 10 day trial by using my link in the video description and you get full access to all of their courses for that time. At the end of your 10 days you can either subscribe for more or cancel, totally up to you. It's got to be worth a free trial though right? I'd like to say a massive thank you to my patrons. Your support helps me to keep making videos like this one and I really appreciate each and every one of you. It really blows my mind that people will support my channel and my work by pledging their money through Patreon. So again, thank you all so, so much. If you aren't already a patron and you'd like to offer your support, then please go to patreon.com forward slash Shane Whittington.